This is DDPA, the GRA of Ambo in Delta State, Nigeria, West Africa. You guys requested that I give you an update to show you the changes that has been happening here. My name is Aria Kose Moye. So I've returned here to give you an update of what this place now looks like. Nje! Starting off with the biggest building in this estate. As you can see, construction is no longer going on here. Construction is now complete, at least from the outside. And you can see that there's a new development. There is now a car park, actually a twin car park. You can see that the bays are mapped out and numbered. There is a security house gate and it's been fenced and painted. It looks like this car park, this twin car park serves that building over and then this other space just left on the left of this building it looks like it's been used as a construction storage area that serves the building you can see that is now all been tidied up also there is that building right at the top of your screen, kind of around the middle on the left side of the middle. You can see that white building. The last time I showed you this place, that building was not painted and they had a lot of scaffolding around it. You can see that a lot of it has not been cleared and it has now been painted. I don't know what that color is. Is that? It's definitely white. <laughs> but is it pale white? Is it brilliant white? Is it? It's one of them. Shall I think it's either royal white. White. Is there anything called real white? I think it's pale white or brilliant white, one of them. But one thing is for sure, that white is very whiting. In fact, it's lighting up the whole area. <laughs> Anyway, moving along, that building in the middle was not anything near this stage the last time we were here. It was not anything near this stage. You can see that a lot of work has gone into, into that building. Just stay tuned. Later in the video, I will be showing you those those buildings from a different perspective. So I'll be showing you a much clearer view of these buildings. Just stay tuned. <laughs> Over here on the left hand, bottom left hand side of your screen, you can see that there are two buildings going on here. There's one there looks like, the one that's been roofed, it looks like is nearing completion. There's this other one, I don't know, it doesn't look like a private house, it looks like a hall or event center or church or something, something like an auditorium anyway. You can see there's at least one level, you can see that entrance area. It will be interesting to see what that building becomes in the next few months to a couple of years. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see the bottom of your screen there's still some empty land there's still some empty land from time to time i still i still see adverts of lands being available for sale here obviously is even more expensive than before you know last time i told you it was already expensive i said you should budget between 20 and 40 million now is even more expensive obviously land appreciates this place is becoming heavily built up now the empty lands are becoming fewer and fewer the buildings are springing up anywhere, everywhere, and it's becoming built up. So very soon, there will be no more empty lands in this place. Yeah. 
One thing I'm noticing in this place is that the people are not using up the entire compound, so I can see that they're leaving space for some greenery and space to, you know, play around and for open air. For example, you can see these buildings now, there's a lot of space in the front, which I like, some spaces on the side. This particular one at the middle of your screen, you can see that about a third of the compound has been reserved for what I would call a relaxation area. <laughs> I promised you a view from the other side. This is that view. What we have now is the three buildings I would personally say are the three biggest buildings in this estate.
Just appearing on the bottom left of your screen is Old Lagos Asaba Road. Yes, that's Old Lagos Asaba Road just appearing at the bottom left of your screen. At the far end of the screen, far end, if you look at the far end, I don't know if you can see, there's an express there. That road is actually the new Lagos Asaba Road. You must have seen me drive through new Lagos Asaba Road or mention it somehow. So that's the new Lagos Asaba Road and obviously the bottom closest side to you is the old Lagos Asaba Road. So this place is in between the new and the old Lagos Asaba Roads. This area at the right bottom of your screen, it seems like a lot of buildings have been jam-packed into that place without a great attention to detail around the planning compared to the rest of the estate. I'm calling it an estate, but it's not necessarily an estate, it's a government reserved area, it's like the GRA. So yeah, so this area I'm telling you about, as you can see, is like fully choked up. The buildings are not like lined up properly. You can see that that place doesn't look very nice, that particular place. This has been a pet peeve of mine since I've been driving around Amo and Eka land. It's been a pet peeve of mine seeing, you know, buildings just jam packed or just, you know, scattered all over the place. I've always used the DPA as a reference point of, you know, what good looks like apart from this, <laughs> this place now that is painting my eye. <laughs> So yeah, I hope that fulfills the request of the viewers that wanted to see an update of this place. Like I've said throughout this video, there's no massive changes apart from some of the ones I've shown you. Obviously, a lot of construction is still going on and it's been a year gap between the first video I made and this one. So there's not been that massive changes. So in the next couple of months, next year, there'll probably be a lot more visible changes. Anyways, I'll see you in a few days time with another brand new video. In the meantime, remember to share this video with your family and friends feel free to share it on facebook on your whatsapp and anywhere else you like until next time take care of yourself bye